Once you've installed Perfect Photo Suite 9, there are a lot of different ways that you can access the program. The first is by using it as a standalone, and you'll find the Suite folder inside your Applications folder on your computer. When I double-click it, you'll see right in the middle is Perfect Photo Suite 9, which when I double-click, it will launch the program, and I can access my images right here inside Perfect Browse. When I find a photo that I would like to edit, I can click on it, or if I double click it, I can get a closer look before I edit it. When I have my image selected, all I need to do is select a module in the top right hand corner. For instance, if I'd like to take this image into perfect black and white, I'll click on black and white in the top right hand corner. It is going to ask me whether I'd like to edit a copy of my file or edit the original. If you're working with raw files, it will automatically choose edit a copy so that you don't destroy your original raw file. Down below are your copy options, including things like the adjustment of file format and color space. You'll also notice that the Smart Photo Re-Editability checkbox is there as well. Once you're done inside this dialog, click OK, and it'll transfer you over to whichever program you chose. On the left-hand side of my screen in black and white, I'm going to click one of my favorite presets to apply it to my image. And then when I'm done, on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a Save and Close button. If I click on that, it'll save and close my image and bring me right back into Perfect Browse. If you'd like to continue your editing process, you can click on the small triangle right next to that button. It'll open up this drop-down menu, and you'll see that I can apply my edit from Perfect Black and White and continue editing in any of these different programs. For instance, if I'd like to take this into Perfect Resize to enlarge the photo, I could do that now. For this image, I'm just going to click on Save and Close. It's going to add all of the changes I made in Black and White and drop me right back here into Browse. If you'd like to access the Perfect Photo Suite from Lightroom, there are two different ways that you can do that. The first is by control clicking or right clicking on your photo, then scrolling to the Edit In menu and selecting a module from there. You'll notice that Perfect Layers is missing. By going through the Edit In menu, you only have access to individual plugins at a time and no access to our layered based program. From here, if I know that I'd just like to go straight into Perfect Effects, I can scroll down and choose that option. It'll open up a dialog box. If you're working on raw files, Right up at the top, it'll automatically choose that it will edit a copy of that raw file with Lightroom adjustments. If you're working on other file types, like Photoshop, JPEG, or TIFF files, you'll also have the option to edit your original or edit a copy of your original. Down below will be your copy file options, including adjustments like file format and color space. When you click Edit, it's going to take your image and it'll automatically open up this dialog box inside the suite, asking whether you'd like to edit it as a smart photo or edit it as a normal photo. To be able to access this, you have to make sure that you're working on a PSD file. Once you select an option, it will then take your image into the program of your choice. After you apply an adjustment, for instance, the on one cold shadow look inside Perfect Effects, down on the bottom right hand corner, you can go ahead and click Apply. It'll take that image, add the change that you made in effects, and bring you right back into Lightroom. The second way that you can access the suite from Lightroom is by selecting an image and going up to the File menu and scrolling down to Plugin Extras. From here, you'll see that you have access to the entire Perfect Photo Suite, including Perfect Layers. If you'd like to create a composite, mask out a background, and replace it with a new one, you'll want to go through this menu. You also have the ability to go through Perfect Photo Suite 9 as a whole and access multiple modules all at once. To be able to do that, you have to make sure that you choose Perfect Photo Suite 9 or Perfect Layers as an option for your starting point. From there, you can edit through multiple different programs. From Aperture, there are also two different ways that you can access the photo suite. However, they're exactly the same menus, they're just in slightly different locations. You can select a photo and control click or right click on it and go to the Edit with Plugin menu. From there, you're going to see all of the different modules, including the Perfect Photo Suite as a whole, as well as programs like Perfect Layers, Perfect Enhance, and so on. This exact same menu can also be found if you go up to the Photos menu and scroll down to Edit with Plugin. 
all of the same modules that you witnessed in the previous menu are here as well. Anytime that you do take an image into any of these different programs and you're working on a raw file, it will create a duplicate. If you're working on already edited PSD files, it will continue to edit that original PSD. From Photoshop, again, there are two different ways that you can access the photo suite. The first is by accessing the On One panel, which you'll see in the top right hand corner of my screen. If you don't see this panel immediately, go up to the Window menu and scroll down to Extensions. From there, just make sure that On One has been checked. To access the suite from here, select the application of your choice. Let's choose Perfect Enhance. And then right up at the top, you'll see I can double click Open Perfect Enhance 9 and I can access the program that way. You'll also see that down below, I can access my presets as well as On One presets and some of my favorite adjustments so that if I don't want to spend a lot of time in the suite, I can select a preset of my choice, immediately apply it, and jump right back here into Photoshop with no manual adjustments. The other way that you can access the suite is by going up to the File menu and scrolling down to Automate. The main difference between these two options is that if you like to create actions inside Photoshop and you want to include the photo suite in an action, you have to go through the Automate menu. You'll also notice that Perfect Layers is missing from both this menu as well as the panel on the right. Because Photoshop is a layered-based workflow program, you won't have access to our layered-based workflow program. If you would like to use one of your Photoshop edited files inside Perfect Layers, you'll have to access it through Perfect Browse after you've saved it here inside Photoshop. If you're using Photoshop Elements, there's only one way to access the photo suite, and it's by going up to the File menu and scrolling down to Automation Tools. Just like inside Photoshop, you'll see a select number of modules here, and I can select whichever program I'd like to go into and edit from there.